Hello, welcome to DNKS Legacy Productions. Thanks for stopping by and spending some time with us. Uh, we really appreciate it. And if you like this video when we're done, give it a like. And we hope you continue to do that. Um, we welcome any questions you have, any input you might have, and um, leave them in the comments. And like if you like this and subscribe. That always helps out our channel. It will be greatly appreciated. So um, today's video is going to be about using the A10 Mini Pro and enhancing it to be even better with vMix. They are kind of redundant uh, systems, but they work very well. And after a brief message from our sponsor, we'll get into what they do. Okay, now what I wanna do is show you the system and how it works. All right, this is the ATEM Mini Pro, and it's in this case so that I can have the monitor and the ATEM Mini Pro in one package. I don't have to, um, I don't have to bring bring everything and well I can bring it all in one bag but it's already set up I have to all I have to do is open up the case just like in a laptop and on the back it has um, SDI inputs and all of our cameras are SDI inputs and I'll switch back and show you with this camera right here behind me it's using actually the black magic HDMI to SDI and it goes out to the back of the um, to the back of the ATEM mini box and this is what we call our portable studio number two um, the ATEM mini pro and the software that we use, which is the vmix software Right now, I'm using the A10 Mini to put the logo at the bottom. Well, I'm pointing to it on my screen, but the lo logo in the lower right corner, I'm using the A10 Mini to put that on there. Um, I can turn that off with the A10 Mini, but I can also turn that logo on and off with the vMix software. This is the X-Touch Mini. A MIDI controller and I'm using that to um, control the vMix software um, it's easier to set up you can actually use this to control the uh, a Tim mini pro as well but it's easier to set up to control the vMix software I have one of these that I use to control my ATEM television studio, uh, the original ATEM television studio, which we use in our other uh, mobile studio. If you watched our last video, you saw some of that in action. Actually, at the time, I didn't have, uh, when we were doing the, the live events that's on there, I wasn't using this. I was using all touchscreen, but now I have one of these and touchscreen but it allows us to run the um, a the vmix software without running a lot of um, without having to use the mouse or using the keyboard on the computer it allows me to put in the lower thirds um, it allows me to add I can control stingers and things like that it allows me to do a whole lot of stuff um, one of the reasons 
why we use the vmix software with the a10 mini is because these graphics are much easier to control and put up when um and they're much nicer looking coming from the um, vmix software they're easier to make well actually they're about the same see they're not any harder to make for the um, a10 mini versus or any a10 versus the um, vmix software it's just basically a 16 by 9 format and you place them where you want them to be and there's a few other things but um, with a transparency background <coughs> and it's they're not that hard to make but they're easier to control and actually slightly easier because vmix comes with a software that makes it easy everything is all, all the basics that you have to do is uh, that you need to set them up is easier because it's already set up all you have to do is add your graphics all the parameters are set up in their software so it makes that it makes life a little bit easier in that concern um, one of the other things um, like if I wanted to show you my screen right now with the um, ATEM Mini Pro I would have to have an input plugged in from the back of my computer to the A10 Mini Pro. And since I made them all SDI, I guess I could use a converter and do that, but i rather have all four of my inputs to the A10 Mini Pro um, for cameras so I can switch all the cameras. Because if you look up in the, oh, the in the, uh, I'm looking, pointing at the wrong thing, up in the um, screen, you can see I have all of my cameras. I don't have anything on this camera right here, but I, ha I have my multi-view and I can see all of my cameras switching back and forth. So it makes it a lot easier for me to switch back and forth um, for camera views and things like that. Now, if I do need to, um, show you my screen it's easy for me to add an input um, that will show you my screen using NDI and I'm going to go with display 2 for this first one and okay that's one of my inputs I click that input up there and then uh, I basically hit my fade button and there it is I can show you what I'm doing on here I can turn I'll turn the the station identifier off on the um, with the vmix software and turn it back on in the um, and since you're looking at my screen actually that wasn't a good example because you can't see it but if I switch back you can see it it came back up so I'll, I'll turn it off with the uh, you really can't see but yes you can I'll, I'll turn it off with the ATEM and turn it back on with the mini so now you can um, see what's going on so it, as you can see it's easy to add a view of my screen also I'm going to go back, um, cut back over. So I'm going to show you again, and then I'll actually show you how it's done in the ATEM, I mean, in the vMix software. I'm going to show you, a, I'm going to add this again, and that's display one. Hit OK. Hit display one. Cut over. So now you're seeing the vMix software and now you can see what I'm doing. So what I'm gonna do is show you how to, add, actually I'm going to 
click on this one and I'm going to close it which gets rid of it and I'm going to show you how I add it back and how simple it is uh, using NDI I take a local desktop capture and display 2 hit OK and now I have the ATEM back up I have the other screen back up and you can see where it came in and now I can cut over to that screen so this allows me to actually have inputs from computers um, or actually anything else anything that comes over to Ethernet um, I can add in the input actually anything that's on my computer I can add in an input I can add in uh, wait a minute let me see something let me cancel this out I want you to go back to cut I want to go back to the vmix software and I can add in using NDI now that to the local desktop I can add in the whole display whatever's on the display or as you can see I can add in the vmix feed or the ATEM mini feed I can add in whatever program that's running that I want to use instead of the whole display I like the display better because that's what's up and it's easier to uh, move around vmix and the ATEM mini pro I like using vmix and the ATEM mini pro together instead of one versus the other even though they do a lot of the same things you can add in you can switch cameras with both um, I can add up to four different cameras uh, I can add as actually as many um, cameras as I want actually with the vmix if I have enough power in the computer and enough USB slots or capture cards inside the computer it all depends on what you the power of the computer and I can add four cameras to the ATEM Mini Pro and switch them back and forth both products will do graphics both products will do lower thirds both products will um, and I just gave you a short demonstration of that but both par mm, products will give you the station identifier at the bottom but um, the vmix allows you to have a little more granular control over things like that um, like adding in my and actually makes them a little bit look a little bit better so now I'm in the virtual set I haven't played around with the settings to get me to fit in there the way um, it should fit in there but as you can see it gives me a lot of flexibility I want to add an image yeah, okay and then 